This is what an opium poppy looks like. Just a hectare of these is enough to produce enough heroin to keep an addict on the needle for more than five years. Now that I have your attention, in Afghanistan, in the past year alone, poppy cultivation levels swelled by over 60% to hit a record of more than 300,000 hectares. With a farm gate value of almost $1.4 billion, this is the main revenue stream for the Taliban's war against the U.S. forces in the country. And one recent study says the U.S. is putting this money into its enemies' pockets itself. In some areas, development programs inadvertently supported poppy production. One example of this was the rehabilitation and development of irrigation systems. When the U.S. invested in Afghanistan's agriculture and irrigation, they hoped farmers would swap growing poppies for more conventional crops. And in some cases, it worked. <laughs> USAID همچنان متعهد به حمایت از دولت افغانستان برای رسیدگی به نیازمندی های شهروندان افغان می باشد. But while some learned about growing grapes, others took the chance to boost their poppy harvest. USAID spent more than $2 billion on Afghan agriculture since 2002, including tens of millions funneled into the Taliban's heroin business. And if these sums surprise you, they shouldn't. After all, it's just a small chunk in the billions of American tax dollars frittered away, a waste which Washington itself admits to. SIGAR has identified up to 15.5 billion in waste, fraud, abuse and failed reconstruction efforts since its inception in 2008 through December 31, 2017. When you look at an occupation that is spending hundreds of billions of dollars uh, year after year, uh, and you look at a couple billion dollars misspent on drug eradication, uh, you can't really call that every effort, you know, when 99 percent of the effort is going into the use of bombs and guns. I would love for the United States to launch a war on global peace, sustainability, happiness and joy. Uh, maybe we would get more of those things. Uh, certainly getting the opposite of the of the stated intention uh, is the norm, not an exception here. The U.S. is waging many alternative wars. The war on terrorism, the war on drugs. But in Afghanistan, they appear to be shooting themselves in the foot in both cases. 